Hello everybody and welcome back. Good to talk to all of you again today and guess what? <laughs> uh, Super Test 0 0.9.7 is going to have Kitakami. Yes, the very, very, very uh, famous infamous ship from way back in the day is coming back. Let's take a look at what the information currently has. So on the development blog, it says that um, it will be entering the test uh, as a tier 10. Kind of different. Uh, from before, let's take a look at her. So, Kitakami is an unusual cruiser, it always has been, with her main armament consisting of five quadruple torpedo launchers per side, so basically, you know, 20 per side, 40 in total. These torpedoes can travel up to 15 kilometers at a speed of 57 knots and deal up to 15,633 damage, basically, uh, Yudachi torpedoes. Because of a relatively fragile armor, weak A defense, and low HP pool, Kitakami has to rely on her low basic detectability, 10.6 kilometers, which, if you throw on all the concealment, should drop this number down to 8.3. All right, and her special smoke generator, which is low smoke duration time, but large number of charges. The main gameplay of the cruiser revolves around stealthy attacks using a large number of torpedoes from a safe dif distance. Okay. <laughs> you, you just know that this design and real human players are going to be like two completely different things. Like the reason they took the ship out, for those of you who can't remember that piece of news, is way back in the day they removed Kitakami because this ship was solely responsible for more team damage than enemy damage. So, oh yeah, and team kills, of course. So, <laughs> uh... <laughs> Uh, you just know that uh, stealthy attacks, yeah, you just know this, like the majority of um, people who buy this thing is going to stay at like 15 kilometers and spam torpedoes. <laughs> Anyways, to balance Kitakami's efficiency and the control of straights and flanks, she will only have access to narrow and super narrow torpedo spreads. Super narrow. Like British super narrow? <laughs> Man, okay. Not sure how that's a limit. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how that's a limit. Okay, we'll, we'll carefully watch how this unusual cruiser will prove herself in battle and will implement the necessary changes to make playing her and against her interesting. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Additionally, we understand there might be concerns about the ship dealing damage to allies. Obviously. And we plan to take them into account when the ship will be released. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> take a look at the characteristics here. Maximum HP 28,500. Oof. She's basically a, a heavy destroyer at this point uh, in terms of HP. 16 millimeter plating. Uh, okay. Yeah, don't, don't get hit. Whatever you do, do not, get, do not get touched. Guns are irrelevant. Nobody cares about the guns. Who cares about the guns? Take a look at the torpedo tubes. Yep, there we go. 40 torps in total. Okay, so 15 kilometer range. I'm assuming that the majority of competent players, this is never going to be 15 kilometer range. We're going to play with 12 kilometer range because we're going to do torp acceleration and the torpedo module, which will drop the range down to 12, but it'll bring up the speed to 65 knots, which is actually not bad. Um, the, the worst part of the torpedo is actually this. Detectability is 1.9 kilometers, so that's probably the only issue. But then considering the amount of torpedoes you can spam out, this might not be as big of an issue as... Um, as you think. Uh, reload time 141 seconds. I'm assuming with torpedo armaments expertise, this will drop down to probably. Uh, actually, it'll probably drop a little bit though. Reload time 141. That's actually kind of long. Um, considering Yudachi normally is, uh, if I remember correctly, 90 second reload. So 141 seconds is actually quite a long reload. But I guess if you throw on torpedo reload module. Torpedo armament expertise, you can cut that number down a little bit to make that a little bit more comfortable to play with. But it's not Yudachi reload, so that's at least good. Um, no AA to speak of. Oh boy, no AA to speak of. If I'm a CV, guess what I'm going to do if I see this thing? Yep, I'm just going to go ahead and yeet it <laughs> if I can. But probably not, because take a look, the uh, smoke is what's going to give it away, I think. Um, maximum speed, 32 knots. Okay, so she's reason reasonably fast. Turning circle 640 meters, rudder shift 7 seconds, okay, so throw on a rudder shift module, yeah, she's basically a large destroyer, um, but remembering from when she was back in the day, she wasn't a super agile ship, so probably she's still going to have the same issues, like not going to be super, super agile, like her turning circle and her rudder shift are not bad, but 
She's probably not going to actually behave like a super agile uh, kind of ship. We'll have to see, though. Surface attack, like I said, uh, 8.3 when fully specced. Uh, her base one is 10.6. So she's going to be already able to uh, stealth torp without any of the uh, concealment from the get-go. Air detectability range, though, 7.2. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, that's going to definitely attract all the rocket planes, I would say. Because her HP pool is small enough that I think the rocket planes would like to go after her. Okay, and then in terms of her consumables, this is the special thing right here. Smoke generator, 15 second action time. Duration time is 40 seconds. Reload time is 80 seconds. And you have six charges. Uh, so superintendent will bring you up to seven charges. So she's going to have quite a lot of charges of smoke. And basically the... Uh, and it's interesting to note that they've actually put out the radius number as well 450 meters in the in the post that's interesting we'll have to see if that means that there's some sort of special size smoke puff that she gets maybe it allows her to kind of disappear a little bit easier without having to slow down as much at the beginning we'll have to see though but that, that's interesting but sh very short action time but i think that smoke is mostly for either yeah escape purposes i would say anyhow so um I mean, we don't know any of the armor models, but again, back in the day, she was a Kuma hull, so that means gigantic citadel. I mean, very gigantic citadel, like it went all the way up um, above water, so very easy to get citadel. And of course, only 16 millimeter plating means good luck angling anything. So she's 100% dependent on her concealment to survive. But 40 torpedoes, and it's coming back soon. <laughs> oh man, you guys are gonna so. <laughs> You're looking forward to the good old days soon. All right, that's it. That's the latest news on Kitakami. Obviously, when we are allowed to actually show gameplay or whatever, I will definitely have something for this show because, uh, oh, how can you ever forget Kitakami? Anyways, folks, take care. Let me know your comments in the comment section below. Uh, don't forget, if you want to ask questions or whatnot, uh, you can do so on my Twitch stream, which link is coming up right now. Other than that, take care, be safe, and I'll talk to all of you again soon.